Okay, let's take a look at this problem. We're told we're at a local movie theater, and we're told the man spends uh, an average of $17 at the concession stand with a standard deviation of $4.80. So right off the bat, let's translate this into mathematical notation. Let's let the random variable x equal to the amount that the man spends at concessions. And we know the expected value of x is equal to 17, and the standard deviation of x is equal to $4.80. Uh, similarly, we're also told the women spends at the concession average of 12 bucks, standard deviation of $3.60. So let's let the random variable Y equal the amount the woman spends at concessions. And the expected value of Y is 12. Uh, the standard deviation of Y is equal to uh, $3.60. So I'll just make this larger for people to see. Now let's move on to the four questions that we're being asked. First question we're being asked is what the expected difference is in the amount uh, spent by the man and the woman at the concessions. So this is just the equivalent of being asked the expectation, expected value of X minus Y. Um, and this assumption isn't stated specifically in the problem, but you need it to solve it. So it's a safe assumption to make. That assumption is just that uh, the man and the woman spending at the concession, that those patterns are um, not, they're independent of each other. So if the man spends more, you don't know whether, uh, you know, a woman will spend more or not. Um, so given that uh, assumption, we can say the expected value of X minus Y is equal to the expected value of X minus the expected value of Y, uh, which is equal to, 17 minus 12, which is equal to $5. Next, we're being asked in part B what the standard deviation is for this difference. So we're being asked the standard deviation of X minus Y. This is equal to the square root of the variance of X minus Y. Now, let's just uh, focus on the variance of X minus Y bit for for a second, variance of x minus y is the same as saying variance of x plus negative y. And since x and y is independent, that's the same as variance of x plus variance of negative y. And um, we know that uh, variance of negative y is equal to negative 1 squared times variance of y, or just variance of y. So in the end of the day, we see that variance of x minus y is equal to variance of x plus variance of y. So we plug this value uh, and we can solve for variance of x plus variance of y right here, in fact. Uh, we know that uh, the standard deviation of x is $4.80, so the variance is 480 squared. And similarly, 3.6 standard deviation of y, so the variance of y is 3.6 squared. So 4.8 squared plus 3.6 squared is 25. And we can plug that value of variance of x minus y back into our first equation, square root of variance of x minus y uh, into this expression. And this gives us square root of 25, uh, which is equal to $5. So that's our answer. Uh, we say the standard deviation of this difference is five bucks. So, well, enlarging that and just remember the first line is what contains the answer. And now we go to part C. What's the expected total amount spent by a man and a woman in concessions? That's expected value of X plus Y is equal to expected value of X plus expected value of Y since they're independent. Um, in fact, even if they weren't independent, you'd still just add them up this way. And this is equal to 17 plus 12 is equal to $29. And finally, uh, what's the standard deviation uh, of this total amount? Uh, this is just the standard deviation of X plus Y is equal to the square root of the variance of X plus Y, which uh, the variance of X plus Y is the same as the variance of X minus Y. That's pretty clear uh, from part B as we talked about, seeing how minus Y and Y end up being equivalent. So this is just going to be $5 again. So those are the two answers for uh, part C and part D. Uh, part D, the answer is five bucks. 
and part C, it's 29. 